There's no doubt about the fact that over the last couple years, this channel has been focused pretty much primarily on film photography. I love the colors, I love the slower process, and there's just something about film that can't be replicated. I think it's the way it transitions light and blends colors together in a photo that is just so beautiful and unique. Even the darkroom process has become a really big part of my workflow. But that doesn't mean that I haven't spent quite a bit of time the last few years also working with digital cameras. It's just not something I would make YouTube videos about. I even have quite a few images from the past couple years on digital that I'm really happy with. That being said, if it came down to it and I was given the choice to choose between digital or film, I would almost always pick up the film camera. Recently though, I've been taking on some projects that require a much quicker turnaround time than I'm used to doing with film. So I decided after many years of not owning a digital camera, it was time to finally change that. And so I reached out to Fujifilm and they were very kind to send me this Fujifilm GFX X100S and it's been an absolute joy to use over the past couple months. <music> to be fully transparent, Fujifilm did send me this camera for free, but they're not paying me to say anything about it and they don't know that I'm even making a video about it. Let's talk about some photos though, cause that's what I really care about and that's what this camera is good at. Instead of sitting here and talking about the tech specs of this camera, I figured it would be better to just go out and show you some images that I've made with this camera. This first commission came from the LA Times and the assignment was to go around the city and photograph beautiful apartment building signs. They typically show the name of an apartment building and they always have really beautiful fonts and colors. So I was super excited to get to work. Just a simple, clean shot, nice font. That's really what it's about is I guess the, the font and the text and the words and the colors. So that kind of works. My problem is I want the wide shot as well and I can't because the sun is literally right above the building. Let's see. And look at that. I can literally check that the photo came out right away. What a concept. All right. This next one, I had a look. The building is kind of hard to do, but the sign itself looks really nice. There's a cactus. Should be a good just sign to get on its own, so. The desert sands. All right, we made it to our next spot. This one's called the Sanctuary. To be honest, this one looks like it actually might be pretty recent, but I'm not opposed to it. I like it. Let's see what the best angle is here. As you may have noticed by now, I'm using a Pentax 6.7 7 
55 millimeter lens that I adapted to this Fujifilm body using a photo deox adapter. I like this for two reasons. The first is that the Pentax lens feels really nice and it's a little bit more of an analog experience with a manual focus. But the second and the real reason that I'm doing this is for the adapter, which has a tilt shift feature built into it. This means I can shift the lens around on the plane of the sensor and it just allows me to get a different perspective on the buildings, kind of like you would with a 4x5 camera. It's really nice specifically for architectural photos because it allows you to keep the lines really straight. I'm gonna do one more here of just the sign at the top with the light. I was super happy with how these images turned out and they're now published in Image Magazine by the LA Times, which I'm super excited about. It's just always an honor to have photos printed in a publication like this. And I just really like the nature of the project. These signs were so much fun to photograph and also equally fun to sort of just find around the city. I saw so much of Los Angeles making this project just searching for these signs and what a cool subject. The second project that I want to share coincidentally is also for the LA Times and I think I've shot both of these projects on this camera specifically because of those two reasons that I mentioned at the start of the video. I can turn these photos around really quick and the reassurance of just seeing the images right away is so nice. The second project was to photograph the artist Glenn Kino in his new exhibition here in Los Angeles. It was this immersive exhibition in a really massive warehouse space here in the city. And the assignment was to go and photograph a portrait of him and also make images of the exhibition. I actually only had 45 minutes here to take his portrait and photograph the whole show. So it was really nice being able to set up my shot, see that it worked out on the back of the screen and just move to the next thing right away. It was super efficient. And I think because of this Fuji film, I was actually able to make all of the images that I needed in this short span of time. The day I ended up shooting these photos, I turned them around the same day and then just a few days later, they were printed in the LA Times newspaper, which was super cool to see. And I really enjoyed shooting this project. A special thank you to Kate and Jacob from the LA Times for these projects. And also a huge thank you to Fujifilm for providing the camera that made it all happen. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and finally thank you to Squarespace for sponsoring this video. Squarespace is an incredible all-in-one website building platform that you can use to build your photography portfolio online. I've been using Squarespace for so many years at this point and they've made it so incredibly easy to get a website up and running with my photography. If that sounds like something you're interested in, you can hit the link in my description for a 14 day free trial of Squarespace. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Willem for 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. I'll see you guys next week with another video. Peace.